Yesterday I fought my way into the Zeker 001 FR, but it's still crowded today, but I've got a better view of the guts inside. Nobody wants to watch this, but I'm gonna give you a walkthrough. So this is the front motor. This is, there are two motors here, right? Yes, dual du motors. Dual motor. So it would be one going to the front wheels, each side. Uh, this is the motor controller, motor controller yes. inverter. Uh, so this would be providing the power to the front wheels. The rear wheel motors are kind of fantastic. Uh, you can see, so it is actually two motors bolted together into one unit. They can act independently. Uh, this is a carbon wrapped sleeve around the rotor for high RPM, so it stays in one piece. And then you have a uh, planetary gear reduction. So uh, the input, it goes through uh, the planetary gears and then that reduces the output RPM uh, because I, I'll have to look up the specs for this, what the maximum RPM. Oh, okay, it says right there. Is that uh, 20,000 RPM max? That's uh, it's a lot. And that's a, that's a feature, that's a number. Sometimes you'll hear automakers, electric vehicle makers, talk about with the performance of their motors is what's the maximum RPM. I'll put at this point, I guess, some examples of other automakers claims for their maximum RPM. And now we have the Zeker Golden Battery. So this is their 75 kilowatt hour. It looks like they're prismatic cells and it gets the name from the, uh, the insulating uh, material on the top there, giving it that golden color. It has functional value in addition to just looking very pretty when you polish it up and open it up for people to look at. So this is a fast charging battery. How fast? So you'll sometimes hear C rated as far as a charging speed. It's 5.5 C. So that means every hour you could conceivably with the right equipment, like that charger over there, uh, you could conceivably recharge this battery 5.5 times. So in other words, 10 and a half minutes to charge a vehicle. This is the kind of technology we're gonna have to be accelerating to get competitive with just putting gas in a vehicle. And yeah, in China, they have it. So hopefully this will inspire automakers to push the envelope a little bit more here in the United States.